Hello and welcome to Sunday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And today we're going to be taking a look at a very highly regarded puzzle by the constructor Alexander Rapper, uh, one of the names who will, of course, be featuring in our upcoming book. Um, now, although this puzzle was inspired by an absolutely brutal puzzle by Fistimafel, uh, I am assured this one is far more approachable. Um, uh, no, seriously, I do think this one is meant to be relatively doable. It's got four stars out of five for difficulty on Logic Masters Germany, which can be an awkward rating to judge. Um, but the testers assure me this one is 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 relatively doable. So I think we should be in for a, a very pleasant time today. Um, now, the Times Crossword Championship, which was... Um, Again, it was rescheduled for today. The servers crashed again. They've now abandoned the idea of doing a crossword championship this year, which is a great shame. Obviously, with lockdown, it's impossible to do something uh, in person. Um, but yeah, technology defeated it. So Mark is still grumpy, and you'll get to see how grumpy in a video later on tonight. Um, let's have a look at the rules of um, Alexander Rapper's new one. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. A number in the upper left corner of a cage indicates the sum of the digits contained in the cage and digits cannot repeat within a cage. That's normal killer Sudoku rules, but you can see something odds going on here. If there is a digit in a cage outside of the nine by nine grid, it has to contain a number from one to nine. This number cannot be two digits or zero. So that is telling us these cells outside the grid, the ones that are in cages, so just these cells cannot be zero and cannot be two digit numbers. Well, what are they then? These digits outside the Sudoku grid are sandwich Sudoku clues and indicate the sum of the numbers between one and nine in that row or column. Cells outside the nine by nine Sudoku grid are not subject to Sudoku rules, i.e. sandwich totals can repeat. Ah, okay. So that means if that turned out to be a I don't know, seven or something, that could turn out to be a seven as well. That would not be considered clashing because it's not, we can't really consider this to be a column of the Sudoku. The Sudoku rules only apply within the Sudoku. Well, that's not unreasonable. Um, let's get rid of those sevens, in fact. Um, so what are sandwich Sudoku rules? If you've never tried sandwich Sudoku rules, you are in for an absolute treat. Um, so let's imagine that square was a an eight. What would that mean? That would mean that wherever we position the one and the nine in this column, let's say we put a one here and a nine here, these two cells would have to sum up to eight. If the nine and the one are the other way around, it doesn't make any difference. You still, you just find the nine and the one, look at the cells sandwiched in between and make sure they add up to the total in the top of the row or column. Now, obviously in this puzzle, um, I think the only digits we're gonna have any knowledge of that are outside the grid so the only sandwich totals we're going to be able to get any sort of information about are the ones in the cages so those cells there so it's a very very interesting setup um uh alexander rapper claims this if you squint at it it looks like an ant i make no comment it certainly doesn't look like an Anthony, or at least not to me. Anyway, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. And now I get to play. Let's get cracking and see how we go. Now, immediately I can see the 30 cage in four cells is forced to be six, seven, eight, nine. 24 cage in three cells has got to be seven, eight, nine. A 27 cage in four cells I don't know much about that, but I do know it has a nine in it. Uh, and I know that because if you add eight, seven, six, and five together, I've learned over the years that sums to 26. I'm not just doing super quick arithmetic. A 15 cage, that's gotta be six, nine, or seven, eight. A five cage has got to be one, four, or two, three. I'm clutching at straws now. where We're getting into the realms of totals that aren't very useful. An 18 cage in five cells has got to contain a one. Oh, and I guess the one can't be no, the one can't be a sandwich clue. You can never have a sandwich clue of a one because that would imply that there would be a nine and a one as the sandwich, uh, sort of the bun of the sandwich. And then you'd have to put a one in the middle and you'd definitely repeat the one in the row. So we can get rid of a one from this cell. Hmm, okay, uh, what now? I don't think I'm going to get much more joy out of 
21 doesn't have to have a 1 in it. Uh, maybe we can... Uh, maybe this is restricted actually. Look, that's a big total. That's a big total. 48. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at column 5. Now, if we actually just look at the Sudoku part of column 5, we know that adds up to 45 because these yellow cells must be the digits 1 to 9 in some order. You add up those digits, you get 45. But look, what's the minimum I can make those three squares? Well, it's 1, 2, and 3. That adds up to 6. 6 and 21 is 27, which means the absolute um, maximum that I can make these squares is the difference between 45 and 27. It's 18. So if that's the maximum I can make these three squares, the minimum I can make this square is 9. And I can't make it bigger than 9 because of the rules of the puzzle. Actually, interestingly, if this wasn't a sa wasn't restricted, uh, you know, you can have sandwich clues that can be anything up to 35. But in this puzzle, they all have to be uh, a digit between 1 and 9 inclusive. So we actually get a 9 there. These have to add to 18. These have to be 1, 2 and 3. Ah, now that's also interesting, I suppose, because you can't repeat a digit in a cage. So the sandwich total here, there's no 9 in these three cells. So there must be a 9 in one of those three cells. And the sandwich total is 9, and one of these digits is a 1. So if one of these digits is a 1... This can never be a 9. Yeah, OK. I'm not sure. We might be able to do better than that, but this definitely can't be a 9. Because even if I put the 1 as far away as possible, those two squares would definitely not add up to 9. So this is not 9. Um, let's get rid of that pencil mark there. Uh, I feel like there's more I can do here. I'm just not quite seeing it. I suppose if this was 489, that could be 4231. And that would allow the 9 to be here. Or, in fact, this could be a 2 cell total as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I've, uh, again, I've got that horrible feeling I quite often get during videos where I, I'm looking at something thinking there's something here and it's nagging at me and I can't see it. Um, oh, no, hang on. Maybe we can look at row five instead. Yeah, look, those two squares now have to be at least equal to four and five. So all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden this is getting tricky, isn't it? If this is, if this is in any way large, I'm going to break this. Yeah, look, if this, if we put six in here, these squares are now seven, eight, and nine, which is twenty-four. Twenty-four and fourteen is thirty-eight. That means those three squares have to sum up. Uh, to 7 in order to get to 45 but we know the minimum I can make these three squares add up to is 10 because I can't put less than 4 and 5 into those two and I can't make this square I can make this square 1 but they still add up to 10 so so 6 is impossible here let's just get rid of that um, 7 is impossible for the same reason actually I wonder if 8's impossible. If we go 8 here, we get 6, 7, 9 is 22, 36. No, it's impossible. Sorry, yeah, okay. We, we know these have to add up to 10, at least. And if I try and put 8 here, this is 6, 7, 9, 22, plus 14 is 36. There is no way to make these three squares add up to 9. It's impossible. They have to be 4 and 5. That cannot be 0. So this has to be 9. That's useful. So we get 6, 7, 8 here, 21. These do add up to 10. What's the only way they can be made to add up to 10? Well, they've got to be 4 and 5 in those squares. This has to be a 1. And we're cooking with the proverbial gas now. So these three squares 
Now you have to include a 9, a 2 and a 3 and that's good because that does add up to 14. Oh, ah, we can do better. We can do better. Look, 9 here. Um, we, where can we put the 9 in the 14 cage? Well, given the options here, you can see this is this, the only way of getting to 9 with the digits we have available is going to be with 4, 2 and 3. So the 9 has to go as far away as it can. That has to be a 4. This has to be a 5. This is adding up to 13. So these are adding up to 9, which means this is a 6 or a, oh, that's a 6 or a 7. This is adding up to 11, so this is an 8 or a 9. Now, is that useful? Well, it feels like at least it was a bit of a breakthrough. It's all come to a grinding halt though. Um, what's this telling me? It's telling me that... It's telling me... It's telling me something, I'm sure. I'm just not sure what. Uh, it's really disconcerting as well, seeing two nights in a row. Um, Sorry about this. I'm not quite sure where to look next. Can we do... Can we do something with the 18 cage? Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. It's simpler than that. This can't be 9 anymore, because that would put a 3-cell sandwich in place, and that's a 2 or a 3. The only way you can make a 3-cell sandwich add to 9 is with 2, 3, and 4. And you can't put, um, you can't make this a 2, 3, 4 triple, because that cell will have no fill. So this is not 9. Uh, let's get rid of 9 there. Place 9 here. Now this square has to be uh, 6 or 7. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, this can't be 6. If that's 6, you've got to put another 6 in the cage to add to 21. So this is 7, this is 2, this is 3, that must be 8, that must be 7. These are 6 and 9 to complete the box. This must be a 5 to complete this box. Now those three squares are now known. They are even. They are 4, 6 and 8. And let's just check the arithmetic. Um, yes, that does add up to 27. This can't be 1 now, because obviously we can't put 0 into this cell. In fact, if that's... Yeah, the highest digit you can have in this square is 9. And that's impossible, isn't it? Uh, or is it? Well, I was just wondering if this could be a 1. So maybe that's a better way to logically think about it. If this is a 1, this has to be a minimum of 9. But it also has a maximum of 9 because I can't put more than 9 in there. But if this is 2, 3, 4, therefore, plus 1 is 10, plus 9 is 19, that doesn't work. So this is not 1. The 1 is in one of those two cells. Ah, no, no. that's that, I Actually, I know where the 1 is. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. I am such a, such a beep sometimes. Now, can this ever be a 1? Well, the answer is no. Because then the sandwich is made up of that square. That square will give the digit that will give the sandwich total. So these two yellow squares would be the same number and they are in the same cage, which is against the rules. So actually, this cannot be a one. This is a one. You, 
yeah, you need a two in an 18 cage because, and the way I work this out, by the way, I've talked about this before, but is I, I tend to add one, one digit to the length of the cage total. So for example, this is a five cell cage. Now I know a six cell cage, the minimum I can add up a six cell cage, it's like a triangular number. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six, which adds 21. So I immediately know if I take a two out of that 21 total, the minimum I can make five cells without using a two add up to is 19. So I know there must be a two in here. I know that's a very long winded way of doing it, but that's how I do it. So, but now this can't be a two because I can't make those two squares add up to two. So I know that there's a two in one of these three squares now. Oh, I'm just wondering, maybe I'm meant to look at this 15 clue now. Now I've got this one. Let's just, let me just have a quick look at this because now this can't be a nine because that's an enormous uh, sandwich total. Um, that's way over a single digit number. So that's not nine. So that's not six. Oh no, this is very good. This is very good. Look, whatever I put in here, it has to be a seven, eight or a nine. So where does the nine go in this column? Well, it can't go there because that's too far away. That three digit total there will be enormous given that this square has to be at least equal to six and you know the minimum I could make those two would be two and three that's already bre breached the single digit total so you can't put a nine this high in this column so the nine has to get closer to the one well the nine can't be on next to the one otherwise this would have to be a zero so the nine goes there this digit is the same as that digit which now cannot be nine that's really cool so this becomes a seven eight pair and this becomes, ah, no, look, this becomes a seven or an eight, and there's a seven in the row. So that becomes an eight. This is a seven, this is an eight. That is gorgeous. That, that cell is a naked single, that's a six. Um, okay. This nine fixes the middle box as well. So we'll take that, nine and six go in there. And okay, the seven therefore can't go there. I, I really want to eliminate seven from there because it just looks like I should be able to, but I can't. This seven does not see this cell. But this can't be eight. If that's an eight, that becomes a nine. And look, how do I make an eight sandwich here when I've already got a seven in the sandwich? I'd have to go one, one, which definitely doesn't work. So actually we can get rid of eight from there. Um, sorry about this, I'm now stuck again. So, how do we, how do we make progress from here? The answer, <laughs> my friend is blowing in the wind, I've got no clue. <laughs> We've got to, this column feels like it's, got more work to do but I can only see that there must be a five in one of those three I can't really see how to use that no, the five must be in one of those three because of this five so that's no good this sandwich total has to be a single digit number Oh, right, okay. So there's something we can say about this this square. And indeed this square. Can either of these squares be a one? Let's look at that. The answer is no. Because if either of these squares is a one, where does the nine go in this column? Well, 
it could never go here because it would be next to the one we put there so it's got to come down into this box where it can't live there's already a nine here so it, the, it would have to be at least here but these three squares you can see this has to be a seven at least so these three squares are definitely not going to add up to a single digit number so neither of those can be a one this can't be a one that can't be a four that means the one is in one of those cells in this box so the one is in one of these two positions where it doesn't scan across oh that can't no this five can't have a one in in the sandwich position we've already looked at this you can't you can't have a one sandwich at all so actually this is a two three pair Now that must be relevant. Why is that there? What is this telling us? The thing is, it's not, it, although it's a two, three pair, it's not so far as the Sudoku is concerned because I can still obviously have, I need, in fact, I need another two, three in this row. So it's not, I mean, it feels like it should be really useful, but I'm not actually sure it is. Oh, now I know what it's telling us. It's telling us that that square can't be a one. Because if that's a one, a two, three total for the sandwich requires the nine to be exactly one cell away. So these, these would have to be the two and the three. And then the nine would have to go in one of those two positions where it can't go. So this is telling us, this clue I think is telling us that this is not a one. So that, and neither is it a nine for the same reason. We'd have to put the one in one of those squares. So actually there's something we, we're learning about where one and nine go in row two here. So that can't be one or nine. This can't be one or nine. This can't be, this can't be. This can't be, because if this was a one or a nine, we'd need this to be a two or a three, or we'd need to put a one or a nine here, which is impossible. So we're slowly that can't oh so where does nine go that's a sensible question nine is the most restricted digit nine is in one of those two cells wow okay now ah i thought we might get the position of the one from that if that's nine that has to be one if this is nine that has to be one but there's quite a lot of real estate between those two options so the nine is in one of these two now can we therefore it feels like maybe that's putting too much pressure on the 21 cage. Is it putting too much pressure on it? It is, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it's not too difficult because look, if we put nine in the 21 cage, all of a sudden the 21 cage needs a one in it. Well, that's all very well, but where are we going to put the one? Um. You, well, you can see that we're, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put the one there. One cannot be a sandwich total, so this has to be a one. And now I've got the problem I had down here. Whatever I put in that cell is telling me what's in the sandwich, and that's going to have to go in there as well. And that most certainly leads to a clash in the cage. So that is not right. The nine does not go here. That, the logic is really gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's what you expect from world-class constructors now, but it's just, it's so clean. And what I'm admiring about this puzzle as well, it's, I mean, it's clearly designed to, to not have superfluous clues, but it has a very linear path so far. You know, we had to work hard here and that gave us the breakthrough here, which gave us the nine here. Now, now the one is known again this can't be the one so this is a one this is a two or a three now that does give us a real oh it gives us all sorts of real things there's now a real two three pair in the row and a real two three pair in the column ah and also Oh, look at the 16 cage now. The 16 cage can't contain a 7, and now it can't contain a 9 either. These, sorry, these 9s are pinch, pinching it. Now, 6, 5, and 4 only add up to 15, so we knew there was always going to be a 7, 8, or a 9 in the 16 cage. Now we know it's an 8, and there's an 8 there, so we'll take that. Thank you. 
give me that. That's an 8. This is not 1, 7, so it's 2, 6, or 3, 5. That can't be 5, so that can't be 3. Can't see anything more than that. It might be something. Um, now... Now, what do we do next? We have got to... What is it that... It's either going to be this, I think, that's the next breakthrough. Although this feels like it's not, I have to say, because this doesn't feel like it's got restricted enough. Or it's going to be something to do with this 21 cage. Or something to do with the nines, maybe. Maybe nines. Let's have another look at nines. There's got to be a nine in one of those cells. Maybe ones as well. No. Oh. Ah. Ah, maybe this. Can that be a 9 ever? If that's a 9, where do I put... No, that's it. Okay. If this is a 9, where do we put a 1 in row 1? It can't go in those squares, so we've already got a 1 there. It, if this is a 9, we can't put the 1 next to it. So the one, 1 has exactly one position, which is here. Which means the sandwich total for the row would be 4, 6 or 8, which it can't be. So this is not 9. 9 goes there, not, ah, 9's now in one of two places in this box. Goodness, that felt like, <laughs> that also felt like an important deduction, it's done nothing. No, it's done nothing, I don't believe it. So maybe, do I have to use this 21k? I really don't want to use this 21k. I don't think I know enough about it. Um, it would be useful to know if it had a 1 in it. Because if it has a 1 in it now, I'd know it was there. So if it doesn't have a 1 in it... If it doesn't have a 1 in it, it would have to be 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. That would be the only thing we could... And the... Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. If this doesn't have a 1 in it, it has to be a very specific combination. It has to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. That's the only way you can make 21 without using a 1. The problem with that is what does it do with the 2 and the 3? There's a 2, 3 pair in this 21 cage. Well, because we can't repeat a 2, 3 in those cells because there's already a 2, 3 in the Sudoku, this cell has to be a 2 or a 3. And that means that one of these 2, 3s is the sandwich filling and needs to have a 9 next to it. Well, we can't put 9 in those two because of that 9, and we can't put 9 in those two because of that 9. So they can't do this. This is not right. Oh, come back, come back, pencil marks. All is forgiven. What I want to do is say that this does have a 1 in it. We know 1 can't be a sandwich total. And we know it can't go in the same box as another 1. This is a 1. That gives me a 1 here by Sudoku. It gives me a 1 here by Sudoku. It gives me a 1 here by Sudoku. It gives me a 1 in one of those squares by Sudoku. And it... Uh, ah, yeah, and this can't be a 9 now, because that's too many cells away from this 1. This, these yellow cells couldn't possibly be a single digit total. So 
the 9 cannot go there. Now, if that's not 9, we know two things. We know, firstly, it's 8, which might be useful. But more importantly, we now know the 9 in this box has to go there, which also places the 1, gives us the 1 there. This, this now has to be an odd number, because that's an even number, and 7 and 9 are definitely odd numbers. So that's got to be 3 or 5. And that can't be 8. This 8 is giving us a 7 there. That's an 8 now. 7 must be in one of those two cells. And is this a breakthrough? It might be. I feel like I should, ah, uh, nines maybe, I could look, ah, yeah, look, nines are here and here, and nine here, so nines in one of those two, it can't be there, because that would be the zero total, so that's a nine, nine goes here, these two squares are adding up to an odd number, don't quite know, well, we may know what this is, but I'm not quite sure, um, so we're not, hmm, I've not really used this 18 cage either. That's the other cage I've sort of neglected. But I do feel like we've just made proper progress again. Where does, oh, where does three go in that box? There's some Sudoku to do, that's a three. Let's put that in. Um, so these squares are two, four, and five. So these squares are six and seven. So these squares are 4 and 5. This 8 total is correct. This total... Hmm. Yeah, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to look at this 18 cage in order to make more progress here. That's the same as that, which is fine. This total, ah, maybe this total, look, for the 21 cage, this has to be a did, this has to be between 6 and 8 inclusive, so that's 6, 7 or 8. 4, 6, 8 there, ah, 5 here, this is 3. That's beautiful, that fixes that this is 4, can't be 6, oh no, hang on, my, my maths is appalling then. I looked at that and for somehow I managed to make 6 and 3 add up to, to 10 in a flash in my brain. Thank goodness that flash went away very fast. Um, 2, 4, 7. Into that. So this is 2 or 7. This is 2, 4 or 7. Ah, you can see the 7s actually. That places a 7 there. So we get rid of those two squares. These two squares are 2 and 5. That does limit this one. This not being 2 means that one's not 6. So these are 3, 6 and 8. Still not quite enough. Don't know anything about this one. The two, ah, there's a 2, 3 pair here though, so that's a 5, that's a 2. So looking at this row, we still need four, we need to put an eight in the row, so eight must go there. So that means these two squares have got to be four and six, which we can do. Two, three, and five to complete this column. So this is three or five, this is two or three. This is, ah, the two, two in this box is forced by this two to be in that square. That fixes that as a 3, that as a 3, that as a 2, that as a 3. And all of a sudden, maybe, we're getting somewhere again. Okay. Where does 2 go? Oh, so 2 is now ruled out of this square in the 18 cage. So 2 has been placed into the sandwich total for this 18 box. I think I'm going to have to look at that in a second. Let me just... I've sort of been shying away from it. Um, but I think now is the time where finally we are going to have to bite this bullet. 
Um, unless I can rule nine or seven out from there, the seven could still be three and four. Nine would have to be, no, nine could be four and five or three and six, I think. Right, so let's look at the 18 cage. What do we know about this? We know 18 in five cells. It could be one, two, three, well, it could be one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, which it can't be actually because that would pl th that would mean this would have to be an 8 and these would have to be 2 and 6 which don't exist in the combination so this is not 1 2 3 4 8 it could be 1 2 3 5 7 so ah so whatever you put in here has to be you have to make it has to be possible to make that total from the options here, so if this was one, two, three, five, seven, this would have to be five or seven, and this would either have to be a two, three pair or a two, five pair. Oh gosh! So there are there are options there. Maybe I have to work them out. So it's either two and three, which would have to be that way round, or it's two and five, which would have to be that way round. Now, if it's two and three, this square would, ah, this square would be a seven and that's impossible. So it's not, so five isn't actually possible there and three isn't possible here. So this may be the way we need to go. Now, so if we're looking at one, two, three, five, seven, the seven has to go here. This has to be a three. And this would be five and two. That would work. Now, what about though if there's no th one, two, four, five, six would work? Oh, one, two, four, five, six would work, and it would work because six can be made up of two and four bobbins. If this is six, this would be a two or a four. Oh, bobbins. And that would be a five. Oh, at least. Okay. So at least we get a three, five pair. So I think that those are the options. Um, I'm not aware of any other ways of making 18 in five cells. And that does at least, well, what does it do? It means that we get a three, five pair here, which forces this to be a four. It means this square is now known as well. That's got to be a six, I think. Now that should be helpful. Yeah, 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 that is helpful. This can't be a five now. It would add up to 11. So we now know this is a three, which means this adds up to nine. This becomes a seven, which makes that one a four, that one a six. This is a five, this is a three. That gives us a two, two, five there. Now I've got to remember which option three was here. Was that? I think that was seven. Yeah, because six was looking at one, two, four, five, six. So this is seven. These need to add to seven. The only way they can, because three is not available, is if that's a five, that's a two, that's a four. These two squares are four and something. It shows how good my scanning is. <laughs> four and seven, we can do that. Seven and four, like that. Uh, that's got to be three now. So this one is a five because I know they need to add up to eight in order to make that add up to 16. That becomes six, eight, which doesn't seem to be resolved. Place the two there, I guess. Place the two there by Sudoku. Those two squares are known. They're five and six. These squares have got to be four, seven, and eight. That one's not eight. I have strong suspicions that can't be eight either. In fact, maybe I'll do that now. Can that be eight, really? If that's eight, the minimum I can make these squares add up to is 11. That's already 19, 20, 23. Now that's not eight. I suspect seven is too much pressure on the box as well. If that's seven, Seven, six, five, and four is 22. So it's also not seven. That's four, that's seven, that's seven, that's six. 
that's four, that's five by Sudoku. That five gives us the six, five here. Now we've got 14, we need seven more to make 21, and ah, and that's working beautifully with the two, five there. Good, so that becomes an eight, and we're nearly done, I think. That's a four. These squares have got to be three, six, seven, and eight. So you can see that becomes seven, eight, eight, six, six, no, no, six, three, I think. And that is what I would submit. Now, if I click check, it'll go bananas. Yeah, there we go. It says a whole load of cells are wrong. And that's because our software doesn't understand this is a bigger grid. That's just, it's quite, although it's a little bit reassuring because it looks like the cells it's highlighted as being wrong. Oh, no, yeah, the cells it's highlighted as being wrong are all due to repeats in rows that it's found. So it thinks those two are clashing, which they're not because that's outside the grid. It thinks those two are clashing. It thinks this hasn't been filled in. Nines it thinks are clashing. So providing, so I, yeah, I'm not, it might be wrong, but I don't think it's wrong. And I think I did it logically. And it was marvellous. It was not that easy, though. I mean, four stars out of five difficulty, 40 minute video. That's about right, I think. Um, and yeah, but it was extremely enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know in the comments how you got on. And we'll be back later on with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.